lovely bunch of people. Hello, if you're new here, if it's the first time you ever see me on your screen, make sure to subscribe down below. Come and join the family. This is actually a new backdrop for me. I've never filmed a video here before, and I tell you what, I'm feeling it. This is my new office in the house, and oh, it's so cute. I cannot wait for you guys to see. If you follow the vlog, you would have seen like little sleep peeks and stuff of the office, but you wouldn't have actually seen the whole office because it's not completely done yet. So that's why I'm in a little corner buried right now. But yeah, make sure you're following the vlogs as well because I definitely will be doing an office tour. I've done a lot of videos buying things from the website Wish and you guys really seem to enjoy them because it's super cheap. And I was just like, you know, moosing around the other day on Wish and I saw like loads of like tubes or like fake designer stuff, whatever you guys want to call it. I thought, you know what, it'd be really cool to compare against the real designer stuff and like the tube version or the fake designer stuff to see is it actually really worth the money. Anyway, so that's what I did. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Smash a big thumbs up if you guys did. Subscribe down below and without further ado, let's get into it. So as you guys would have clicked onto this video, you would have seen how much the actual designer stuff is and the fake designer stuff is. For the designer stuff, it costs £4,250, which breaks my heart a little bit because that is an excessive amount for one outfit. Like, that is so much money. And then the cheap version, the Wish version, costs £39.20p. Obviously, it's a lot more affordable. There is a huge difference. So I am praying that I like the dupes a lot more than the design stuff because honestly some of the stuff is actually mine but some of it I've just ordered for this video and I have a feeling my mum's going to definitely make sure I send it back. Um, <laughs> we're going to start off with the t-shirt. So this is a Balmain t-shirt. This is the actual Balmain t-shirt that's bought from the store. It's really, really, really good quality. It has their classic buttons that again is really good quality and is on most of the things um, from Balmain. I think this is so nice. Obviously it has the um, Balmain Paris going across it in like a really nice gold. It's really good quality because it doesn't feel like if you put it in the wash it's all just going to come off. Now I know this is a lot of money for a t-shirt. I think it was £180. A lot of people won't go and spend that sort of money on a t-shirt. However, I'm more likely to spend money like on a designer t-shirt because you can just rock it with a pair of Primark jeans and it will look really cool and you can you know wear it with pretty much anything. I love this t-shirt. Obviously it's very pricey. And then I bought the exact same thing from Wish. So here's the picture of what I've bought from Wish and uh, here is what I got. It has Gildan on it. <laughs> it doesn't even say Balmain. It says Ballin. This is definitely not what I ordered. I mean, the t-shirt itself actually feels like it's quite good quality, but it just, it doesn't even say Balmain on it. It says Ballin. So this isn't exactly the best Jeep to start us off with. This is actually fraud. Like they haven't, given me what I've actually bought. Like I could have gone to a printer's and done this myself. Now I know it doesn't have the but it did have the buttons in the picture, so I wasn't expecting that. But the fact is there's something completely different. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest. And I don't think I would wear it because I'm not a massive fan because I think it it looks like it's trying to be Balmain but it's completely not. So honestly this has got a thumbs down and let's see what we have next. I'm really hoping I like the rest of the outfit. I don't want to be too judgy when it comes to the shoes. Um, I actually got some Gucci trainers. I know these are really popular. I know so many people that have these. Here is the real version of the Gucci trainers. This is ordered from the store. I ordered these for the purpose of the video and they're probably going straight back. As sad as it is. The box obviously is absolutely stunning. You expect to have a box like this when you paid £450 for trainers. <laughs> the bag also come in their own little dust bags which is obviously what you're also paying for so cute can't my heart so these are the Gucci trainers. Now I got them with flowers all over them, which to be honest, I actually am not a massive fan on. I don't really like this flower pattern, but I do like the shoe overall. They're obviously just leather trainers. Um, I love the back though, because obviously it has the metallic on it. I think that's really pretty. And Gucci always has um, one shoe at the back green and then the other's red. So let me just show you the other shoe. So there you go. There's the back of the shoes. Right, let's give the Wish version a look. Ooh, they look good from what I can see. But they've both got their own dust bags. Like, this is like really good packaging. My shoes, I feel like they were nice and safe in here. And from what I can see, 
The shoe is really good. Like the print on that is actually really nice. Like the back, it obviously doesn't have the bows like the other one did. I am honestly amazed. Like I think this is amazing, 13 pounds. They pretty much got everything that the like actual designer um, Gucci shoe does normally have. The only thing is though, just looking at it, they don't have the red um, and green on the back, they just have red on the back. But still, like they're so pretty. And they obviously have that like metallic color um, as well. And it's, I'm, I'm, I just don't even know what to say, like I'm genuinely amazed. Now I've like put them up side to side against each other, you can see the comparison. Now obviously the actual Gucci trainer on the bottom, there's like a little bit more detail. But still, I'm just blown away by how amazing this dupe is. Now you can see how much money Gucci is earning, like that is mental. Yeah, I think if you can't afford um, or don't want to spend the amount of money for Gucci trainers, go to Wish, because these are £13 and they're, they're great. The only thing though that I'm a little bit confused about is I'm a size 6 and both of these are in a size 6 and like look how much bigger the actual Gucci trainer is and I have no idea why, they look huge. That definitely got me excited. Let's move on and see what the next thing's like. This is the most exciting part for me, Chanel handbags. <gasps> I don't own one, um, I wish I owned one. Now this is a lot of money. I think this is about 3,000 pounds, which I know is absolutely mental. It's a lot of money. It's a Chanel boy bag, part of their boy range. It's absolutely beautiful. I am so obsessed with it. It's everything I've ever wanted in a bag and it's not mine. To open it up you kind of like clip this together and it's got like a lovely pocket. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like suede inside. It's super pretty. Obviously the quality of this bag is amazing. You wouldn't expect anything less. It has to be perfect when you're spending £3,000 on a bag. However, I do feel like even though it's so much money and I know a lot of people will be thinking that is an excessive amount to spend on a bag. And now I know a lot of people will be thinking like £3,000 that is so much money and I know it is. But I do kind of feel like these bags are an investment because if you like really do look after it, um, then they don't really lose their value. And if you have it for like quite a long time and you keep it in really good condition, it can actually even go up in value. Um, however, I'm not always the best when it comes to looking after things. Like I'm just quite clumsy and I just throw things and yeah. Um, so hopefully the Wish one will be more practical for me. So this is the Wish version. Now I did order it in a different colour because um, I did see a red version. Let's have a look at this. Ooh. First thoughts, I do actually think this looks really good. Now, from a distance, I feel like you wouldn't be able to notice that much of a difference until you go up close. Um, so I do think the bag is, well obviously I think the bag is really nice because it's designed to look like a Chanel bag. And I just love Chanel bags in general. Now when you hold a real um, leather Chanel bag, the leather is so, so, so soft. Um, and it feels amazing and it's very heavy. However, it feels completely different. This obviously is like plastic. Um, so it's a bit weird, it smells very weird as well. <laughs> but yeah, it does look really good. Now this here, this buckle, you think it looks like you, you know how I said you kind of like push it in and then the bag opens? It kind of looks like it does that, but then it actually twists. Um, but the fact it looks like it does that, I think is really good. And then, I haven't actually seen it. Oh, okay, it comes with this, which is really good. It comes with the longer strap and the handle, which is nice, because obviously this is what the real bag comes with. And um, so that's really good. So this was 10 pounds, and to be honest, I actually got one pound 20 off, because I don't know if you guys have ever shopped on Wish. It's a very weird store, but if you buy at the same time as someone else, you get money off. So I did, and I got one pound 20 off this bag, which was great, you know? Save the dollar. In photos, I imagine you can easily get away with this being the real Chanel bag. Obviously, I'm going to show you guys what both the outfits look like at the end, so make sure you stick around. The Gucci belt. Um, so this is a real Gucci belt, obviously from the actual designer. This is actually my brother's stealing everyone's um, clothes for this. So this is what it looks like. It always has like a double G. Um, they're really, really, really nice. Obviously you can get loads of different styles. He's obviously got a matte black, um, but you can get gold at the end. And obviously the actual belt as well can be like loads of different um, designs and stuff. I tried to pick the one that was most similar. This one here is a black belt and it has the gold G, which they don't actually do now. 
Obviously, I just showed you guys. They have like a double G. So Gucci, as far as I'm aware, definitely don't do a single G. But like, if you're not really into fashion that much, I don't even think you would notice. And honestly, I think the belt is actually so nice that like, I really wouldn't care if it was like trying to be a dupe or like a fake. Gucci belt because I actually think it's so nice alone. So this belt was six pounds. You can't really complain. I mean, the gold is like really shiny. It doesn't look like it's gonna come off. Um, so yeah, I would actually wear this and I like this belt. When it came to jeans, I wasn't really too sure really what to get because nothing really was calling my names. Um, so I just went with the Levi's because you can't really go wrong. However, I don't actually like the jeans now I've seen them in real life. Um, but I thought I would go for like the mum jean kind of style as I think they're really cool. Um, so here is the designer um, Levi version. It has like this tie-dye bit in the middle, um, which is kind of cool. It's definitely different. But to be honest, I don't actually really like that in real life anyways. And then, oh, these actually aren't rips. Oh, okay. So look, these are like meant to look like rips, but they aren't. They just have the tie-dye. So it has rips all over it and like patches and stuff um, that you can see actually at the back of the leg, which is really cool, um, but no actual rips. I'm not actually a huge fan on these, to be honest though. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them now in the in real life. These are the Levi's, then a pair of jeans that I got from Wish. The Wish version. I actually feel like I'm going to prefer these. Here is the Wish version. There's definitely less going on, but actually there's still like a ton of rips in these trousers. Again, obviously I got like mum trousers, so they would look the same. And these rips actually are rips. I actually prefer these. The quality, like these feel really good, these jeans. I like them a lot. Obviously these are like different style, but like the quality of them is so good. I actually think if these like, if these fit me and they look like I would wear these, um, they're really nice. So I'm really hoping they do fit me. And honestly, I actually prefer these to the Levi one. So last but not least, we've got the Christian Dior Stella sunglasses. These are new and they come in a very fancy box that I really like. Very pretty, love it. These are very fancy, I love them. They're hexagon shape and that they're mirrored. They are so pretty. My mum's not gonna let me keep them, which is so sad. Oh, they're so cool though. The gold as well is like such a nice shiny gold. However, these were about 270 pounds. Um, and when I think about it, it's a little piece of metal for 270 pounds. And then last but not least, the Wish version, which again, oh, they've got a hexagon shape, right? So here are the Wish versions. Honestly, I think I like them new. I mean, I prefer these ones because I love the fact that they are mirrored. They've kind of got like the same um, sort of shape. Um, however, they are still like a little bit different. This one has more sides. <laughs> um, it's still really cool though. Like I actually still really like these glasses. You know what, I would actually wear these. In fact, I would a thousand percent wear these on holiday, picture me, look on the ground, you can see me rocking these. To be honest, I think the one thing I actually wouldn't spend a lot of money on or invest money in is actually sunglasses because I lose things and they're, they're just be so easy to lose so I just prefer to get a cheap pair that look nice um, and then buy a new pair for another holiday. So these were three pounds and you know what, I actually thought I loved these like more but like now I've put these on, when I'm comparing the money, I'm like, I'd rather go out and buy these. So anyway, let's go and see what these outfits do look like on. Let's go. So this is the designer outfit. This was over £4,000. So yeah, just let me know your opinions. I actually really like it all. The only thing I don't like is the jeans because I think they're so unflattering and they do not suit me. But apart from that, I actually really like this outfit. So this is the dupe version. You know what, I actually really like it. It's kind of a shame about the top, obviously it says ball in, not really feeling that part. I actually really, really, really like the jeans. I mean, again, they're still not like that flattering. I'm loving the glasses. I think they look just as good. And honestly, same with the shoes. What's that going on? Same with the shoes. So everyone, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. You know what to do if you did. Smash a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. Let me know down in the comments as well because I'm actually intrigued. Do you think it was worth the money? Um, would you go and spend that amount of money on the designer stuff? Or would you guys rather the dupe version? Do you think the dupe version was good? I mean, I've seen some better dupes and I've seen some worse dupes. So let me know down in the comments below because 
I blooming did love a dupe. Um, some of them I thought were really good and some of them not too much. So let me know your opinions down in the comments below. I really hope you guys did enjoy and hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.